Welcome back to the product review, and today I'm going to look at Sense Labs Pen Tablet Medium Bundle. Now, full disclosure, Sense Labs sent me this bundle here, so I didn't pay for this. So thank you for the review unit. As always, it will be unboxing, and then fast forward to the future where I've tried it for a couple of weeks, and I'll give you my two cents on what I thought. Before I do, hi, my name is JD, and I do product reviews like these. I also do rig reviews. I do animation analysis clips. I do animation lectures. I do acting analysis clips. I do a bunch of stuff on my channel. That's always the pitch at the beginning. So like and subscribe. That's the thing that people say. But if you do like it, subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my uploads. That is it for the pitch. Let's keep it short. Now, if you watch my channel, you know. I like tablets. I've done a couple stuff about tablets. I also talked about how I don't really use mice anymore, even though I just did a review of a really good ergonomic mouse, which I would recommend. But I'm more into a tablet just in terms of the ergonomic factor and how it helps me in terms of just the way I work in my wrists and my fingers. It's my preferred method to animate and just to work in general. That being said, I've used Wacom tablets for I don't know how long. I mean, well, I'm over 40. So I've used them like 30 years, like since the very beginning, they had their tablets and their quality is always last. They're more on the pricier side. But for me, I never really had any problems in terms of the, the hardware breaking down or anything. So I mean, you pay for it, but you get really good quality. So I was very curious about this one just because it comes with kind of an express key type of remote, which also has a screen, has me intrigued. Because I'm getting older, so sometimes when I map my things to certain buttons that don't have any displays, uh, I forget, I forget. I know you should not forget because that's you mapped it and you're using it all the time, but sometimes I do. So that's why I'm more leaning towards like Stream Deck or now Loop Deck, which is really cool because you got the customizable screen. So when I saw this, I thought that's really cool. So let me just unbox it first. It's the box that you get. Ooh, not super heavy. Pen tablet. Here is the back. So let's open this. Oh, where's the camera? <sighs> open this. All right. Thank you. Danke. Grazie. C'est un merci. Oh, there's a merci. Bah, de rien. We appreciate you choosing Sense Labs. That's really nice of them. All right. Quick start. That's good to know. Got here a cable, remote pen, quick start. I'm going to use that for sure. That is the tablet. Ooh, not light. It's kind of hefty. I like it. Trash. There you go. You got your softy little cushiony thing so it doesn't slide on your deck. You get a little groove here to pick it up. That's actually pretty cool. You got your three buttons here, logo, and that is it. Let me put it on the side here. And it is not sliding. Ooh, what is that? That's cool. Logo here. Velcro back to put the whole thing in there. Ooh, and it's very soft inside to avoid some scratching. That's actually really nice. That's some high quality stuff there. Very soft, actually. Impressed, that's cool. Ooh, what do we have here? I'm assuming that is the remote. We got a sticker. Yeah, yeah. We got pen tablet warranty policy. Okay, there we go. That is the, ooh, that is the remote. That is cool. You got, again, through here to grab it. You got your jog dial button. Another button, lots of buttons. I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued, I have to say. There we go. Please connect the computer, install the driver. Will do. You got a bit of a, a light here. I'm already very smitten. Gadgety stuff with the yellow light. <sighs> yellow, clearly. I'm right now very into yellow. Then in here, it's another heavier case. The build quality already. Not that I'm an expert in build quality, but sometimes you get stuff you can like this kind of plasticky, kind of cheap. The buttons kind of clickety, like eh. This already feels very high quality. Here's the case. Look at that. Ooh, nice. So it comes with a, a bigger sized stylus, but then also a slim version, which I prefer. That's very cool. Dongles, you got a USB and a USB-C. Well, that's your USB-C adapter, I see. Nibs, nibs, you got different nibs. Ooh, felt nibs, which I prefer in terms of, it's not as slippery. I've gotten more used to these than these, at least on my Wacom tablet. That's a really nice case though. Again, I'm very impressed already. And then here we must have the cables. We have USB-C to USB cable. There is another USB to USB-C cable. Oh, okay, so we have an L-shaped type of thing and we have a straight one. Oh, medium sized. oh. Ah, you artist's glove. Medium is gonna to be too small and I'm also a lefty. Let's put it on anyway. Ah, I always see people wear these and too bad that I can't. <laughs> So anybody making these, I appreciate that this is in here and the majority of people are right-handed, but I'm a lefty. It's too bad. I would love to get that actually on my left side. Hold on, let's try something. If I go inside out, 
It's a bit of a cheat. <laughs> but it works, kind of. I don't know. I can also use it like this. So might be a first time. But anyway, technically, right-handed people, this is the medium size. But as a package, as an overall, what you get, this is very cool. You got your case. You got your remote. You got your glove and you got all the cables and then you got your tablet fits in here without any scratches and an extra pocket in here as well for the rest for all that stuff in there so you pack your cables the remote the glove and this is that gonna fit it totally does and we would assume so if that's what they manufactured but it's cool so first impression i'm very impressed it seems really high quality i'm very intrigued by that remote all the additional stuff you can get the two different pens i mean this is definitely a comprehensive bundle so let's fast forward and see what happened in terms of battery life in terms of usage and the drivers and just you know do the just the software crash all that good stuff that you want to test so let's fast forward all right, fast forward to the future, and I've been using it now for quite some time, quite some time, like a couple of weeks, and I got my thoughts listed here, pros and cons, and let's start with the best part first. The quick keys are awesome. Just throwing that out there, they're great. Now, for the test, what I did, I used them with my Wacom drivers and everything installed, had some issues, and then I uninstalled the drivers, the Wacom drivers, still had some issues, but more on that later. Most of it was done without those drivers installed, and it's purely Sense Labs in terms of, you know, their setup, and I'll blend in all the, the menus as well as I'm going through my list here. And speaking of which, the menu is great. There are a ton of details. I love that everything is specific to each pen. So like I showed before, you get both of them here. The quality, the build quality is great. The pens are great. I've been using actually the thicker one, even though I prefer the thinner one, because the thicker one I didn't notice has an extra button. And now it sounds like nothing, but having that extra thing, I like having extra little gadgety things, but I've configured this to work with uh, Keyframe Pro for, for critiquing things where I can activate it, do onion skinning on and off, before and after, deleting frames, undo, like everything is it's really cool, I gotta say. Even though I am more used to the thinner one that's also lighter, it's well built, it also has that rubbery front part where it doesn't slip. I like it a lot, but I've been using actually the thicker one more with this tablet. But you can customize both. You got a ton of options in terms of what you want to assign it to. Same with the tablets. You can go through lights, pressure sensitivity. There's a bunch of stuff. So the menu system, I think that's a big pro in terms of the, the options, just how you can customize everything. I think that's really comparable to Wacom. And to be honest, I actually prefer it than Wacom. There I say, I think the build quality and everything in Wacom is always great. The software is good, but I found that with Sense Labs, the software is better. Just in terms of what you can customize and things you can add to it, I don't know, there's something that, that felt really, the layout was nice, the menu is nice, I, I like that a lot. That being said, since I'm gonna compare this to Wacom, since I've used Wacom for so long, the moment I used the pen on that tablet, the scrolling of it felt stroby and kind of choppy. And I don't know if that's subjective, and I've tried to do some tests to compare if you just go straight and in circles and move things around there's something that the moment i use my the wacom one it just feels smoother there's something about that and i think i've been going through some other reviews and they say it's a lot about the pen combination with the software but mostly the pen and the interesting thing is you can actually use the sense lab tablet with wacom pens and not just the newer ones even my the old one for my other wacom tablet so that's interesting too just in case you want that but they don't have that extra button so anyway but generally i felt like the moment i was using the sense lab it was just something not as smooth when it came to the scrolling, the, the cursor moving around, there's something that was subtly off. Also, this might just be because it's new. I don't know, I've tried it with the plastic one, I've tried it with the felt tip as well. But when you click on something, it immediately registers a click. It's very sensitive where, and I changed the sensitivity level, and it didn't fix it, at least for me, where you click on something and immediately thinks that you're sliding over. So when you click, it thinks it's like a click and hold or slide. So it doesn't register as an actual click, where I ended up having a lot of multiple clicks. So it's almost like a double click. I do want to keep playing with this, but I mean, I've had it some time and I tried super sensitive not. I tried a bunch of stuff and it didn't work. But at the same time, it could be user error. I don't know. So if you have this, look out for that. That could be something. I went after that back to the Wacom and it was just it was just better. Maybe it's because the way this has been like really broken down. I don't know if you can see the tip here, the nibs. Just, uh, it works for me, but so again, it could be user error. It could be something that I need to keep tweaking. But after a couple of weeks, it was still an issue. Also, my setup, my review is going to be for something where I have four screens. 
So keep that in mind. And it's not like a drawing review where I show the lines. I'm gonna put the link in the description to other reviews that have really detailed things in terms of actually drawing, since that's not my main thing. For me, it's mostly animating and just overall setup and workflow. Just keep that in mind. So my setup has four screens. So maybe that also has something to do with some of the issues that I had. So for instance, my fourth monitor frequently wasn't recognized. I had to open up the menu where in, in Windows, you can adjust where the monitors are. So they'll kind of move it a little bit up or down and then hit apply and then it will get recognized. But a reinstall of the software fix that. More on that later. And as I'm checking my list, the three button pen, yeah, three button pen is awesome. Just like the quick keys, which I'll get to later. I really like having an extra button. It's really great. I think Wacom competitor there sounds something to consider. The tablet overall feels nice. I think there's nothing where I felt like it was it was just different in terms of handling. I think the production quality is still really good. I like the little grooves as you saw in the unboxing. You can pick it up easier. Just overall, it's great. I didn't feel a massive difference, but again, I'm not also constantly drawing. So again, for my review, it's a different point of view. But in terms of straight comparisons, I think they're super similar. I actually like that the buttons are at the top. So you only have three buttons on a tablet. For some people, that might not be enough, but again, awesomeness. But what I like about the top one is that it's not favoring left or right side. I mean, you could, I guess, turn the tablet, but just in case you don't want to because of where the cable is and everything. I just like that it's at the top. You can draw and quickly move up. I didn't have any issues with that. And it, it, it was okay for me because it wasn't favoring left or right because I'm a lefty. Now, speaking of tablets, the charge was pretty good. Actually, the charge felt longer than the Wacom one. Because as you remember, got to take this guy out. That's the, the Intuos. I just have it always cable just because towards the end, it just, the, the battery dies. And I felt like with the Sense Lab, yeah, it's rated for 16 hours, but I felt like this was just all day and I have constant usage. It was just fine. You had to charge it overnight, but overall it felt better. If you take this on the go, they both are wireless. Same with the pen, you don't need any batteries. Definitely good. Um, for my constant setup, I just have it cabled in. And I also did not see any changes with the tablet connected to a cable in terms of the choppiness and some of the other issues that I have to talk about later, which I hope that would solve it. Now, going back to this here, I love it. Love that you have a screen, love that you can see what you're using this for, because again, I would frequently forget and stuff. That's why I like, again, like my stream deck and the, the loop deck that I'm testing now, because you can see what's going on. It also changes the screen. So depending on what software you have, this is a Keyframe Pro. And if I switch to just regular desktop, you can see how things switch. This is my regular desktop. And then you also have the color change. So for instance, for Keyframe Pro, I have something where I can click on this and it changes the function. So basically my scroll wheel is set to moving forward, like framing forward and back, and you can change the sensitivity. And then I click on this. And basically what I did was when I click on this, it switches this to zooming in. So now I can quickly zoom into my play blast or whatever, and if I critique something and then click on this and it switches back to what I had before. So that kind of workflow is really great. And you can see with the color changes, how you can remember also by color what where you're at. So big fan of this. And I use it like this, so it's flat like that. So I have the my hand on this and I go like that. You can change the screen. So it can be like this, it can be like this, however you want it. I did notice that because I'm not usually, my hand is flat on the keyboard. I was a bit more raised with this to use it like that. And I noticed a little bit of something here. Again, your workflow, you have to kind of adjust your posture for everybody, it's gonna be a bit different, but massive fan of this. The only downside on this is that I wish that when I would do this, and go that it would frame through. The wheel stops fairly quickly. And it's not like you're like on an iPhone, you can go, it just goes down. So I wish, for me, I wish I could just go like this and it would kind of scroll quickly and keep scrolling till the end. But if you do this, it just goes a couple of frames and stops. A couple of frames and stops versus this goes through the whole thing. That's the only thing in terms of how I would use it in terms of animation. But overall, mm, love this thing. Now, spoiler, I'm not sure if the tablet works for me because one thing towards the end, I'm mention at the very end, but you can use this just separately, right? So you can still use your walking tablet and just that. And I think that's gonna be a setup for my other computer because I am in love with the Stream Deck loop deck setup that I have. It's really tricky. It's really tricky to decide because it's also nice and small and compact. I don't know, I, I have too many gadgets, but it's really good. I think this is the main draw for me. This and the three button pen, that's a really big plus. That being said, it's clickety. You can kind of put your finger and kind of click on it. But so if you have your mic close by for anybody that's recording, there's still clickety sounds which with most gadgets that have that. So watch out, you might hear that when you click on it and you record it. The tablet is not a touch tablet, which I mentioned that before. This tablet does not have that. Just as a caveat, it's a, again, generally a really good tablet. Now. Why am I not going to continue using it right now? 
So I believe what I'm going to say all now from now on is just me and it shouldn't be a deterrent for the tablet, to be honest. But my biggest thing is that first off, I can use things and then suddenly my Logitech keyboard goes crazy where it just changes all of the button configurations. I can't use the keyboard anymore. The keys are just completely differently mapped and that hasn't happened ever. Only since I installed the Sense Lab software and it has that USB dongle for the Bluetooth. So maybe the Bluetooth dongle with the Logitech is conflicting. I don't, again, this might just be very me set up, but it's a pain. And it took me a while to figure out that you just hit the Windows key and that fixes it. And I don't know what the cause is and I don't know what that layout configuration is of my keyboard. No idea. But that's the thing that continuously shows up and that's an issue. Again, it's a quick fix, but you can be in the middle of something and suddenly you're, you're in the middle of typing something and it activates a bunch of stuff and it's really disruptive to doing work and reviews, not a fan, but it's not crippling. The crippling problem is that every now and then, and I, I thought I wrote it down here at first, I thought that it was because I was streaming YouTube, I had a Zoom thing, like a recording Zoom, had a bunch of stuff going on and maybe it was just overloaded in terms of software. But then I closed a bunch of stuff where pretty much nothing except my review stuff and it still happened. And this is for me, the deal breaker. You're working with it and suddenly the mouse goes crazy. There is an insane lag where I do things like what is going on and then I stop and then the mouse just goes, mm -hmm and you wait, I don't know how long until it catches up to what you did. That one is massive and it's unusable. And I tried a bunch of stuff. I tried uninstalling things. Again, drivers, walk drivers on and off. So unfortunately, I can be in the middle of a review, drawing things or doing something and it suddenly goes absolutely crazy. That combination with the keyboard, unfortunately, the tablet for me right now is a no, I can't use it. But again, I feel like this is my setup, but I wanted to keep testing it to see if it's something that I can fix. But you don't want to buy something and immediately have to go and contact customer support and do a bunch of stuff. Like how does this work if you just buy it? Disclaimer, I didn't buy it, this is for review purpose, I got it. But say you just get it and you're like, mm, I gotta figure some things out until you gotta go the next step in contacting tech support. So just as a caveat for me, it just stuff is just not working. But then other reviews, it did. So again, that's why I feel like this is my problem. <laughs> This is not a tablet problem. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna email the company and maybe they can help me with this. And then I'll put it in the pinned comment. Cause I do wanna see if that's something that can be fixed as firmware upgrade or something. Now you might say that's not fair. Maybe, you know, the overall review is a bit negative. It's not, it's, I really, really like it again. Fantastic. This is absolutely system seller. I love this. It has the jog here and the screen. Fantastic. The pen, three buttons. Fantastic. This as a bundle, all the stuff you get, the build quality, it's really great. The tablet is great. Everything is really great. So just overall my review, if you don't have a setup like this and it works for you like it did for other reviewers, I give this two thumbs up. It's really, really good. It's absolutely comparable to Wacom. Unfortunately for me, I can't keep using the tablet. I'll keep using the quick keys. And I'm very curious what you think. If you are using this and you had similar problems, let me know. Let's chat. If you're using it, you have no problems. Let me know as well. I'm very curious. It's fairly new company and the reviews have been very favorable. And I totally agree. It is an absolute competitor. And I can see this company going far in terms of updates. Maybe we're doing a Cintiq type thing where you have a screen. It's really, really high quality, except for me. <laughs> I know it sucks. Uh, I wish I wish it was, but I have so many things loaded and so many things plugged in, so many different screens. I really think this is my problem, but I don't know. I will let you know if there's an update and I can fix things. I'll put it in the pinned comments. Thanks for watching till the very end. And it's a bit of a lengthy clip, but I wanted to be absolutely honest in terms of what happened to me. Curious what happened to you. Again, let me know. And if you like those kind of clips, as always, it's we're towards the end. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say like and subscribe. Mainly subscribe, hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my uploads and reviews. So thank you for watching till the very end. As always, if you are still here, thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. And that's it. Thank you.